We're Seth and Natalia. We bought Windrose, a 38 foot 1977 custom Ingrid Atkins sailboat in Hawaii. We're working hard to restore her in preparation to untie from this island and sail the world. We wanted less things and we wanted more memories. So we traded traditional living in order to live tiny, untethered and on top of this beautiful ocean. We are excited to share our journey with you so you can see our world alongside us. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm really excited to share with you something that we added to our galley. So we got a old school like retro style fridge combination with like a full size mini freezer, if that's what you'd call it, full size. So it has two separate doors. We were having an issue that I'll show you in our other freezer where the ice box was just so like large with like the thickness of ice that it was taking up space in the freezer and the fridge. So we were really losing a lot of like precious space for like our food so we ended up upgrading and getting one with a two door so a two door mini fridge and it's so cute it's blue and it's just a perfect style for our 1977 boat so I'm gonna show you what the new one looked like so here is our little old school retro fridge and freezer so obviously the two door so it will separate the freezer which will allow us to have ice and then tons of space there's like so much room in here and also in the fridge it has so much space because the door space is more like efficient than the previous space. It also has a crisper box. And then since the ice box used to hang down so low on our other one, this way we can actually fit like quite a bit here on the top. So today's project was going to be putting up our name decals because we have windrows to go on the front of our boat or actually the stern of our boat and it started to rain so we're not gonna actually get to do that maybe today we might do that later this week or we may be able to squeak it out before the end of the night if it kind of holds off a little bit more it's just really cloudy but in the meantime I'm gonna go up to the top of the mast because we have the wind sensor and a light that doesn't work so as we are prepping to begin sailing shortly we want to get those working so I'm gonna go get some tools get seated up so that's gonna hoist me up the main and then I'm going to like take them apart as best as I can bring them down with me and then we'll take a look at what we have and what we can maybe think about like purchasing and reinstallation reinstalling double protection we got the light harness that has the pockets which is good and more comfortable and then we have the more intense harness to just really hold me in do you know the actual name of that knot a bowline knot holding me in all right hold on you gotta brief me Ooh. Right, so I just came down from the mast and I didn't get to take anything down because I stumbled upon a bird in her nest which is not what you want when you have a sailboat because once you get sailing I mean you can't have birds <laughs> baby birds at the top of your mast so that's a problem as we've been renovating our boat we haven't been able to take the boat out because of the engine being out obviously so we're at the tail end of that so the engine is actually on its way it's shipping freight and it's we already got the tracking number in california so i didn't want to disturb the birds <laughs> i didn't want to disturb the mom was sitting on her eggs and then she flew away and there were two like baby eggs so i looked it up and it says small songbirds can take about two weeks once they lay to hatch and then once they hatch it takes another two weeks oh my goodness she just came back to her nest oh i'm seeing her oh. that's crazy seth's not feeling it obviously <laughs> um so it will take two weeks once hatched to then take flight up to two weeks 
So I'm hoping that by the time our engine comes and everything, they're hatched and then we install and then they fly away and then we can just go up there, take the little sticks down and be done. So we're gonna take our gondola and grab some tape and my camera and we're going to put the name that arrived, like the vinyl lettering on the stern of the boat. There's a bird up there. <laughs> All right, so I got swindled by an ad online. I saw it and I thought, oh, I'm gonna buy these. I bought two of them. These are the good smart sensor lights. This one I got in walnut wood, I believe. And basically what it is, is you get like a small plaque that on the back has like a 3M tape that you tape to the wall. And then you get these. So you just charge these with a, just a, like a C cord, I believe, or a C port. And then this you can actually take off because it's magnetized. So then it's like this. So you can take this off and walk around with it if you need like a portable light. But my thought was we have these lights up here that run off of our batteries, which is great. However, we have two of them that don't work awesome. So these I thought would be perfect for the bathroom. It's also an automatic light. So you just walk past it and it turns on that way. Like if you're in the bathroom at night or something, you have some type of light. Also thought this would be great that when I open my closet, it's like a deep hole <laughs> that this would just turn on automatically. So. I'm gonna give these a whirl and see if these work, but you just charge them, that way we can just have these kind of running separate from our like boat batteries. So, I'm gonna give these a whirl. I did get swindled. Thank you, Instagram. There's three. So I am in our V-Birth and we actually this week had our AC go out. So we've been utilizing this hatch up here a lot because we're utilizing the wind versus our AC unit. So we had a stand up portable AC unit and when it went out, it was kind of the perfect time for us to just kind of have it hit the road because now we don't have to strap it when we go sailing and try to worry about that it also gives us a ton more room so now that we don't have the AC unit in the bathroom I was able to paint the walls of the bathroom and do all the brass so the bathroom was one of the rooms that we just like left kind of the original paint color I didn't do any of the brass but now that it's gone we have all the room in the bathroom and I can actually get into the cabinets and everything so it's very very functional but we have been utilizing the hatches in the V-berth as well as all of the portholes in the main cabin area of the boat. And it's been pretty good. So crossing our fingers, we've had some cloudy days, so it's been kind of the perfect weather to not have AC, but it's gonna be sunny soon. So we have to like probably get a couple, like maybe one more fan going and then utilize the hatches more and maybe even the hatch in like the living room area. So. Let me show you the bathroom because it looks so good and I'm so excited to have finally have like a functional bathroom again. <laughs> Painted these walls and then I obviously polished this brass, polished the window, and then we also have this rail, soap holder, and then the little nozzle for the water. And here is my little sconce. But what's nice about it is it only turns on automatically when it's super dark. So at night, this automatically turns on when it senses movement in the bathroom, which is super nice. So all in all, and then we also have this light, but it doesn't always work every single time. For example, if I went to turn it on, <laughs> not working. That's why this is really great at night. And if you really need to turn it on, you can do that. Every oh, time. it just worked now. What did you just do? That's why I said every time. It's just the switch is a little loose. So if you push it here, it's not going to create contact. 
with the wires, but if you push it down a little bit and what? click it, it works every time. I don't know why you're banging on it all the time trying to make it work. <laughs> why are you just telling me this now? I've been doing this for weeks. This is why I got this light. Well, you we don't communicate. <laughs> you don't tell me these things. All right. We can also utilize our mirror. No, full length mirror now, sort of. Um, but I guess I really didn't need to buy the sconce. But I have the sconce anyways. The sconce is actually nice because when you walk in, it turns on automatically. So it's just a little treat. I also really love how it matches our aesthetics. It just kind of looks like it kind of goes with the boat. It's like semi-modern, but I love that you can kind of take this off. Look, it looks like I have a lightsaber. But you can kind of use this to kind of walk around or if I needed to get into the cabin at night, this is great. So anyways, I did get swindled, but I actually do like the purchase. And then I also polished this. I took this off and polished it and oh, it's just back to being gold and beautiful. This I didn't polish, so you can see the difference. This is connected, so I would need to really, really get in there and get to it, so another day's project. We are loving utilizing our bathroom to its full capacity. I'm loving the brass, I'm loving how it came together, and I love utilizing the portholes for the wind and just being able to harness that versus using the AC so that we can kind of reclaim some of our space. Seth right now is working on a project that you will see in a upcoming video, so make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and we'll see you next week. See ya.